Hello crafty friends, this is Teresa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a technique I used in order to get a continuous string of lights across the top and bottom of this card without having a stamp that actually went across the entire length. So in order to make this continuous string of lights, I had to figure out a way to use a much smaller stamp and make sure that it lined up as I stamped across the top. So this is how I did it. I needed to mark off uh, on the paper where I needed to stamp, but first I decided that the easiest thing to do would be to place the stamp in a stationary position and mark an arbitrary starting point so that when I move the paper, I'd know where to line it up which would be with the piece of tape, as you'll see in a moment. So the next thing that I did is I'm going to mark my panel so that I know where to line up and stamp at the next spot. So taking the ruler, I marked it at two different places on here. This is a four and a quarter by five and a quarter panel. So I hung off the edge a ruler so there was one sixteenth hanging of an inch hanging off and marked it at the two inch mark and again at the three and fifteenth sixteenth mark as you can see here. And next I'll move to the MISTI and start the stamping process. And the key thing here is to make sure that you're lining it up each and every time you stamp and we'll be stamping it three times so I make sure to match up that first edge with the edge of the yellow tape and as soon as I'm sure that it does match up I'll secure that with a magnet and then move on to the stamping. And after this is done I'm going to move the paper as you'll see and not the stamp so the stamp stays right in place but I'm just going to shift it down and line up that next mark that I drew at the edge so that I can stamp it again and have it line up. And when I'm finished doing this part, you can just erase the little pencil marks and then move on to the coloring phase. So I'll just repeat this one more time and then I'll have a continuous string of lights all the way across. So just to finish the process, I'll move it once again and line it up. Secure that piece of paper. Ink up my stamp. And... Now I'll have a continuous line of light bulbs on the top and bottom ready to color and move on to the next phase of the project. There are more details on this card project on my blog and the link will be below. If you like this video, please consider leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again. Have a great day.